Hey, actors and directors. Do you know the difference between quick and fast and how that difference can dramatically raise the stakes on a beat? I'm Alexandra Beller. I'm a Laban Bartiniev theater coach, and I'm here talking about time effort in Laban movement analysis. Time effort and flow effort often get their wires crossed. That is because flow is about our ongoingness, and of course, in our ongoingness, we're riding durational time. Time effort is about how we feel about the experience of the passage of time. So we can do one thing quick, or we can do something fast. The quickness, the suddenness, is going to spark the audience in a certain way. It's got usually a sense of surprise, immediacy. It's jumping after the next second, the second that's about to come, the thing that hasn't happened yet. Fast, which often can involve repetition, loses that tension and attention to time. It's about flow. It's about our ongoingness. They're both wonderful tools to use. I'm talking about how we need to re-engage our interest and attention to time. It's the same thing with sustained time versus slow time. So sustainment has to be constantly re-engaged. If I just start speaking slowly, we lose the elasticity that is in a beat of sustained time. I'm in flow, I'm in bound flow. I'm holding the flow of what I'm doing and talking about and containing it as a opposed to elasticizing the moment. So being able to know the difference between when you wanna use time, quick or sustained, and when you wanna use flow, either using free flow or using bound flow can be really useful. Now, in viewpoints technique, that's a different set of um, ideas and we can talk in another video about how viewpoints and Laban movement analysis both cross and differ from each other. I love them both. Um, but tempo is more about flow and quickness is a really different thing. That's the idea for today. Bye.